morning, you guys. Welcome back to Yoga with Christy. I'm Christy. I'm so happy to have you here. Today, we're going to be doing a yoga class that is specifically designed for beginners. So if you're new to yoga or you've been away from yoga for a while, this is sort of an entry level place to start. And I'm so happy to have you here because your body knows exactly what to do. It wants to move, it wants to feel, it wants to breathe. So let's get into it and let it do just that. We're gonna begin just sitting cross-legged. Now, if this is a little bit tight for you, I know it can be, it's great to have either a block or a towel or a blanket so you can lift your hips up a tiny bit higher than the level of your knees. And then we're gonna begin just seated cross-legged like this. You can place your hands on your lap. You can place them together, center of your heart if that feels good. I'm just gonna ask you to close down your eyes. And it's Nice to close your eyes so that you can allow yourself to go inward a little bit. Notice the energy that you brought with you to your practice. Maybe bring your attention to what it is that you want to accomplish or achieve through this journey into yoga. That everything that you need is within you, that the wisdom in your body is very, very wise. to deepen your breath a little bit, drawing the belly button in towards your spine so that your spine lengthens a little bit and you breathe in and out more through the upper rib cage, the back side, the side body. Really nice work. Okay, let's blink our eyes open. Reach both arms up to the ceiling. Big inhale, look up, let the shoulders draw down as you keep reaching fingers high, lifting your spine long. And then as you exhale, I'm gonna get you to bring your right hand to your left knee and bring your left hand behind you. Let's take an easy twist here, gazing over your left shoulder. Okay, with that big inhale breath, see if you can lengthen your spine just a tiny bit farther, sending the crown of your head longer, higher towards the ceiling. Good. And then we're gonna slowly unravel. Sticking the arms up one more time, feeling the length in your side body. As you breathe out, take that twist to the second side, reaching for the right knee, placing the right hand behind you and gazing over that right shoulder. So there's no forcing, there's no pushing. We're just going to allow our body to open up and ease into movement. Good, let's come back through center and take one more big inhale. And then hands through heart center. Acknowledge yourself for showing up. Acknowledge your beautiful body for all that it does for you. And let's explore what's available to us today. Remove the block of the blanket if you placed it underneath your hips. Place it off to the side. And then let's move into a tabletop position. Place your hands underneath your shoulders and bring your knees right underneath your hips. And then again, notice your belly button. Notice if gravity kind of wants to pull it down. I want you to really resist that. Keep the belly tugged in and up. And also, press down through the hands. Specifically, press down through the base of your thumb and the base of your pointer finger. And you're going to get you to extend your right foot to the back of your mat. Good. So you curl the toes under, your back leg is straight. And then we're just going to shift forward onto the toe tips and then back to stretch out the toes, the ankle, the calf. Do that again, inhale as you come forward. So we're really actually strengthening the wrists here and kind of lubricating the ankle. Keeping your neck long on all sides. Excellent work. All right, maybe float the right heel towards the ceiling, see if that's available to you. Keep pressing equally through both hands and then see if it's possible to extend the left arm in line with your left ear forward towards the front of your group. Then exhale, bringing the knee towards the elbow underneath your body to contract. And then inhale to strengthen and lengthen. Let's do that again. Exhale, stay with it. It's just the breath out. And on, on the inhale breath, lengthen and reach. Last time, last time to do this, really hugging in, set your eyes, be calm. You're doing so well. Take an inhale breath to let reach. 
And then we'll just reset. Set both hands and both knees back down. Curl your toes under and just sit back onto your heels. So again, we're gonna stretch out the feet a little bit. Give your wrists a bit of a break, give them a shake. Like flick your fingers, shake your wrists. And we'll go right into the second side. So as soon as you're ready, find yourself in your table position. Check in with that belly button and extend the left toes towards the back of your mat. On an inhale, you'll hinge everything forward, press all 10 knuckles down, and then exhale, you send it back. Notice where there might be some tension or resistance, both in your physical body, like maybe the calf is really tight or those ankles are tight. Maybe the resistance is more in your head. That's typically the hardest one to work through. <laughs> All right, last time forward. Good, last time back to a neutral spine, to a neutral position, and then lifting the, the left heel towards the ceiling. Try and keep both hips facing down, and then option to reach forward with the right arm. Good, everything is one long line. Take an inhale, and then exhale, elbow to knee. We're strengthening through the whole posterior chain, the glute, the back body. Exhale, hug it in. We're also strengthening the front line of your body. Shoulders are getting a little bit of strengthening. Length through side body. One more time. Reach it forward. Good, and then set it back down. This time, open your knees a tiny bit towards the outer edges of your mat. Bring the toes together and sink your hips back towards your heels. Maybe walk your fingertips a tiny bit farther forward so that you can really feel this in the tops of the shoulders and the armpits. If your forehead does not rest comfortably down onto the mat, then just place a block underneath your forehead so that you bring the floor a little closer to you. Notice your hips. Notice your low back. Notice your neck and your shoulders. Breathe generously. Okay, we're going to walk your hands closer together, walk your elbows a little farther forward, bring the palms to touch, and then bending at the elbows, bring your thumbs towards the back of your neck. Good, feel that in your triceps. You can actually tug backwards on your mat or a towel or floor, wherever you are. Just isometrically feeling the stretch intensify on the back side of your arms. Take one more big inhale. Good, and exhale, bring those hands back down to the mat, about shoulder width apart, look forward, and then just walk your fingertips farther forward, walking your toes a little, uh, your knees a little closer together, and then come into a puppy pose. This is where you send your hips up and back. Your arms are alongside the mat. Your gaze can be down or forward. Just be mindful of your neck and see how it feels. Feeling the opening across your middle and upper back. And then we'll come forward and all the way down onto our bellies. So good. Okay, bring your fingertips a little farther out and a little farther forward from your shoulders. Anchor the, the tops of your feet down and then just open your heart, lift your chest a tiny bit up off the mat. And exhale, come back down. Just riding the wave of your breath, you're going to undulate that spine higher. Lifting the crown of the head, and then as you exhale, just like one bone at a time, it comes all the way back down. Good, good. This time, inhale, you'll stay lifted. And then drop your right shoulder to the center of your mat as you look over your left shoulder. So you're getting into the top of the shoulder, the front of the chest. Can you feel that? Inhale, let's make it through the center, and we'll go over to the second side right away, gazing it towards the right. Inhale, lift. And exhale, come all the way down. Slide your hands down under your shoulders, press through bent knees. And then this time, let's make our way to downward facing dog. You'll curl your toes under, press firmly through both palms, lift the hips up off the mat. The knees can be bent. I want you to feel a lot of of a lot of length in your spine and in your side body. And if you can keep that length, then maybe 
we start to explore straightening the legs. And then when you get there, maybe we start pedaling. One heel drops heavy as the opposite knee bends. And then we'll do the other side. Just let your breath be full and generous and deep and slow. Okay, let's come to a neutral down, downward facing dog. And we'll walk our feet all the way up to the top of our mat. Perfect. When you get to the top of your mat, separate your feet hip distance. Bending your knees as much as you need to to support where there might be discomfort. And then if it serves you, grab opposite elbow with opposite hand. And we'll just come into this ragdoll shape. Maybe give your head a shake yes. And your head a shake no. Soften or close your eyes. So again, go inward and acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge yourself for making space and time to feel a little bit more. That you're, you made space and time in your day, you're also making space in your body. And the beautiful byproduct of that is that you're making space for your inner knowing. Sometimes it's hard to access that in our modern day. Let's release the hands. Heel toe your feet to touch. Bring your hands onto your hip creases. Good. And then we're going to lengthen your spine. See if you can bring it parallel to the floor. See if you can lengthen the crown of your head as you spin your inner thighs back. So there's a lot going on here. The legs are working. Your core is working. Try and keep softness through the face and through the thoughts. Then exhale, fold it forward and release. Bring your hands back onto your hips, bend the knees, press the feet down as you come all the way up to stand. Well done you, reach arms up, breathe and look up. And then hands come through heart center, empty out all that air and release your hands down by your sides. We'll do it again. Lift up, reach up and look up. Lift your heart space so high, and then as you exhale, you're just going to hinge forward, bringing the fingertips down to the earth or your shin. Let your head hang. Create a long back as you inhale, and then exhaling, planting the hands onto the mat. Step both feet back to the back of your mat and bring your knees to the earth. So now you're kind of in a, um, a push-up pose on your knees. And then very slowly, bringing your elbows towards your rib cage, can you just lower yourself down onto your belly? Good, and you've been here before, we're gonna take a baby cobra, lifting the heart, rolling the shoulders back and down, lengthening all sides of your neck. And then as you exhale, come down, press onto your knees, and send your hips back for child's pose. And then we're take one big inhale here. Notice if there's been any shifts already. That was one sun salutation. Empty out your breath. Inhale to table. Curl the toes. As you exhale, bring your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Take a long inhale. And a slow breath out. Good, and then walk your feet all the way up to the top of your mat again, towards your hands. When you get to the top of your mat, bring your palms or your hands back to your hips. Lengthen your spine. Fold it on the exhale. Just let that breath move you. Rise to stand. Press down to go up. And bring your hands together at your heart center. Release the hands down. Breathe in, reach up. This time, clasp your right wrist with your left hand, and then reaching high on the inhale, you'll pull a little bit towards the left hand side as you anchor down, drill the right heel, the right mound of the big toe and baby toe into the earth. Bend your right hip a little bit out towards the right. Inhale, back through center. 
and we'll go straight to the second side opening up that left side body maybe turning your gaze underneath the armpit and up towards the ceiling let's take one more big inhale as you feel your left ribs yawn open good and then come all the way back up to center big breath in look up towards your fingers and then gently fold forward over your legs bringing your fingertips to your shins maybe creating a half lift and then breathing out, planting the hands, stepping it back to your high plank pose and then dropping the knees for your push-up pose. Again, coming all the way down to the floor, slowly and controlled. When you breathe in, lift the heart. Let's create that cobra shape. How far forward can you feel your heart lifting? Exhale, you release it. Press through bent knees into your child's pose. So we're repeating some of these poses so you get familiar with the actions and the breath, the way that it rides through each movement. movement. Inhale to table. Exhale to downward facing dog. Let the heels reach down for the floor. They don't need to touch. Doesn't matter if they touch. Keep pressing your hands forward and down. And then on your next exhale, walk your feet all the way forward towards the heels of your hands. And when you get there, catch that inhale breath, hands on shins or hands in hip creases to lengthen your back. Then exhale to fold it. Feel like you've been able to deepen a little bit further over your legs through the repetition. Let's rise up, pressing through the floor, reaching tall and bring your palms together at the center of your heart. Empty out your breath. Good, okay. So we're gonna move into a warrior one pose. Keep the right foot facing forward at the front of your mat. And then just take a step back with your left foot. So the left foot will be kind of on an angle. Your feet do not need to be in line, like on a tightrope walk. It's better actually if you have your feet like hip width apart, so they're like on railroad tracks. So there's a bit of space between the feet. And then any amount, if you can bend into that right knee, that's perfect. And go ahead and reach both arms up to the sky. So this is warrior one. You're sort of squaring your chest forward. So to do that, you need to pull the right femur back and guide the left hip forward. And then maybe draw the right belly back a little bit as you draw the left shoulder forward. Stay here. I know it's a lot, really anchor down through that back left foot. That will support you. Take a breath in. Good, open up to warrior two. So now your gaze will go over your right middle finger. You're still in your nice low lunge on that right side, but the back arm, the left arm is opening so that you're really open towards the left side of your mat. Good, really, really nice. Take another great big breath in. Stay here for the exhale. How disciplined can you stay? Keeping your eyes focused at one spot. On your next inhale, let's straighten out both legs and both arms overhead. Take a big inhale. Good, and bring your hands to heart center as you pivot your feet over towards the left so that the back foot now, the left foot is facing the back of your mat and the right foot is now facing sort of towards the front edge of your mat. Good, inhale, reach it up. And then as you exhale, warrior two. Let yourself feel the sensations in your body. Notice if there's like an automatic, like, oh, it's starting to get hot, or this is a little bit uncomfortable, and how quickly can this be over? Because that's where our mind loves to take us. And instead, can you just breathe and be? Remind yourself that you are in control of your thoughts. On your next inhale, I'm gonna get you to move to warrior one. So you're gonna swing that back right arm down and forward and then up. Good, and so we're again trying to square off the torso towards that back edge of your mat. Draw the left belly back, draw the right hip forward. Challenge yourself, is it possible to sink a tiny bit deeper into that left thigh? Let's take one more inhale here to stay. Beautiful work. Okay, straighten out both legs, pivot both feet towards the left side of your mat. 
Bring your hands onto your hips. Fold forward, so a wide-legged forward fold, bringing your hands down to the mat. Maybe letting the crown of your head reach down towards the mat. And you can stay right here with your hands underneath your shoulders. Maybe you want to walk your fingertips to the back left, oh sorry, back right side of your mat. You could do that. You can tug a little bit to deepen the stretch in your inner thighs and in your low back. Or if you are one of those people who sits and works at a desk or drives a lot or holds babies, you might want to interlace your fingers behind your back and let your hands come off your back and open up through the shoulders, the chest, and the heart. We'll just stay for one more inhale. And then as you exhale, let the hands come back down to the floor if they're lifted. Lengthen your spine so that it's parallel to the floor. And then we're going to walk your fingertips towards the front edge of your mat. And you're going to step all the way forward and then sitting down onto your bum. Perfect. Extend both legs forward. Maybe switch the bum back a tiny bit. Create a little bit of space. Reach up for you. And then hinging for whatever you can reach. Maybe your ankles, maybe your shins, maybe you've got the foot. Again, there's no forcing or pushing necessary here. Just breathe. Notice where there's tightness. And you can even send a little extra breath into those spaces. And just take one more great big breath in. Excellent work. And then exhale, release. Let's come all the way down onto our backs. And we'll come into Supta Baddha Konasana. Supta Baddha Konasana is when you bring the soles of your feet together and then you let your knees open wide like a book so you're on the pinky edge side of both feet. And then let's bring left hand to heart, right hand to belly. We'll close your eyes. This is a gentle hip opener. If this feels too much for you right now, just bring your soles of your feet onto the mat, bring them wide as the mat, and knock knees, your knees towards the center of your mat instead. So it's kind of like the opposite. Otherwise, allow your breath to caress through your hips, noticing how you feel. And then you'll bring your knees into your chest. Maybe give yourself a little bit of squeeze, be gentle. You can rock side to side on your low back. And then we'll take happy baby. So you'll reach for the bottom of your feet, grabbing the outside edge of your feet with your hands, and then using the strength of your arms, you can just gently press down so the knees track down towards the floor on either side of your, of your torso. Just take a moment to acknowledge yourself for trying something new, for getting out of your comfort zone. If it's been a while since you've been at yoga, welcome back, welcome home. And if this is your first time, I'm so excited for you. I love that people come into this practice with maybe stress and anxiety, or maybe it's back pain, or maybe it's high blood pressure, and this practice cares for them all. That this ancient method, it works for everybody. Let's slowly start to release the feet down towards the mat. Feet plant down. Let both knees fall over towards the left. Open your arms wide like a T. Take up lots of space and gaze over that right shoulder. If it feels good, you can even cross your left ankle over your right knee. This will deepen the stretch through the hip and the hip flexor. Excellent. And we'll take it right over to the second side. Letting both knees windshield wiper over towards the right and then option to hug the right heel onto that left knee. Sending the left knee more forward, keeping the shoulders down if possible. And then we'll 
come to the center. And all you need to do now is extend both legs forward towards the outer corners of your mat. Feel the weight of your body being supported by the earth beneath you. Allow your weight to feel heavy. If there's any kind of gripping or tightness in your eyebrows, in the corners of your eyes, or in your mouth, can you allow that to soften? This here is the practice of our love. There's nothing you need to do. There's nothing to fix or control. And just let the practice begin for a few more breaths. Now you can stay exactly as you are for as long as you're able. And if you're coming with me, you start to wiggle fingers and toes. Reach your arms over the head. Take an inhale as you do so. Maybe stretch your feet towards the back of your mat and then Letting your head rest on one arm, roll to your side, bending your knees, keeping those eyes soft or closed. And when you're ready, pressing yourself up into your seated position, grabbing for your block if you need a little extra support in your cross-legged seated position. Just take your shoulders, roll them up, back and down. Grab again, inhale, reach them up towards your ears. And then with an exhale, let them drop back down. Feel your spine long. Feel the crown of your head reaching tall. Feel your shoulders broad. Like you take up space. Like you're here on purpose. Like you matter. Lift your thumbs to your forehead center. The light in me acknowledges that very same light in you. Namaste. Beautiful work. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for sharing your yoga practice with me. Don't forget to subscribe.